Hey hackers, welcome to my home studio. Uh, we are here because we need a regular Wi-Fi network because I'm going to show you one of my favorite boards, the Particle Photon. It's perfect for home automation, but it does require a personal network that just requires a network ID and password rather than also requiring a username like you do on enterprise networks. Particle boards are programmed using an online IDE, a command line interface if you're a coder, uh, or an app. You can also send commands to it and receive data via ift, if this and that, which is super useful for connecting it to other devices, as well as sending yourself email and SMS notifications. The Photon is teeny tiny, it runs you about 20 bucks, and it has Wi-Fi built right in, and it runs on code that's very similar to Arduino, but not quite identical. Still, what you learn from one will apply to the other. Uh, they also have a cellular version called the Electron, as well as a little all-in-one device called the Particle Internet Button, which has an accelerometer and four buttons and a ring of LEDs and all this other good stuff. There's also an Adafruit shield, which gives it a ring of 24 RGB controllable LEDs. This is an open source project developed on top of the open source Arduino project, with an open source project Blues developed on top of it, an entire spin-off company that adds Bluetooth functionality to the Photon. It's like a triple layer cake of awesome. So what you're going to need is a micro USB cable. Here's what our app looks like. I'm going to go ahead and log in, and I'll immediately see a list of the devices that are associated with my account. I'm going to assign it a name. While it's trying to connect, it'll quickly blink green. Notice that it's breathing cyan, which is its indication that it's connected to Wi-Fi. I've decided to call mine Futton, or Photon Button. I've set up this Photon with two LEDs, a red one and a blue one, plugged into digital pins 0 and 7, and connected to ground via 100 ohm resistors. After logging into the particle build environment, let's load up one of the examples. I've picked Web Connected LED. This allows us to set up functions and expose them to the internet so that we can mess around with them using other tools. That can be an app, a website, another IoT device, or something else entirely. Notice that we've got our two LEDs set up here, and in the setup section we've declared this function that we're going to use so the internet will see it as LED, we start off the sketch with both LEDs being set low, or off. The loop is actually empty, which is a new thing for us. We're going to only execute actions when we're explicitly told to. Also, the LED toggle function takes an argument. We'll tell it whether to turn the LEDs on or off. Let's go ahead and select the device that we're using. You can see that it's online because it's breathing cyan just like our little photon. And then we'll go to Flash. Let's head over to If This Then That, one of my favorite tools for handling IoT. Particle has its own channel, which allows you to interact with it. You can send commands and read sensors. I'm going to create a mode that turns these LEDs on in party mode, if it's the appropriate time of day. I mean, it's kind of always party time, but... I have decided that 6 p.m. is the new party time, because that's the closest time to now. Now we have two options. I'm going to choose call a function because we've just declared a function in the editor. And based on what sketches are uploaded to your different devices, you'll have different options for functions to call. Notice that we just declared LED, and now we've got it here in the list. Actually, the only input this function takes is on or off, so I'm going to throw that in here. 